pleasure and the pressure to conclude um, the session. Anyways, um, I'm talking about weird stuff. You can find me on Twitter, GitHub, and LinkedIn. Let's just get started. Um, I suppose you all know we have integers and we have several kinds of them. For example, you're in 32T. And interestingly enough, we can call the destructor of it. Actually, it's not the real destructor, it's the pseudo destructor. So we cannot do the same thing with int. And well, this is kind of our bre bread and breakfast. I mean, we know this, we deal with templates, and we really do need this in the code. So yeah, the talk is just gonna be about interesting moments in C++. So let's take another look at cool preprocessor macros. Um, I don't think I need to comment on this, just don't use it. Um, to sparkle up again, the debate is going strong at CppCon about um, West Const and East Const. I want to open a new debate, by the way, West Const is best Const. Um, I want to open a new debate for West type dev and East type dev. And yes, this compiles. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, type devs are fun, so let's take a look at another uh, type dev thingy. So, we can make signed type devs. So, I guess they are secure. And um, we can make several of them, which is also nice, and we can verify that we have several of them. So, yeah, cool. Um, but the correct question is, is this a pigeon or something? I don't know, whatever. Um, we have declar declarations, declaring things is fun. Um, this is a function, obviously, I know, I mean, we know our C++, but if we put another pair of parentheses around this, ah, then we get an integer that gets initialized to x, which is quite nice because we can print something but also fishy to some extent, if you ask me, but okay. Um, so here is a vector. We fill it with some elements and retrieve its size. Let's get the size in a more undefined behavior way. Yeah, of course this doesn't compile. We have to first redefine our keywords. Of course, sure. So yeah, doing stuff with vectors is fun, so let's take another look at a vector. So here we have um, a vector of u and 8, and um, we resize it such that it could store itself. And this is actually something that we will do now. We will store this vector inside its own storage by using placement new and std move. So this vector now lives inside of its own storage space. This is perhaps the most useless container that you can use. You cannot push back, you cannot pop back, you cannot do anything besides querying its size or something. Otherwise, you have undefined behavior. So, um, yeah, by the way, I found this on Travis Down's blog. Quite a nice blog if you're interested in high perfor in, yeah, performance, performance stuff. Um, yeah, so types. We have several safe types. We can do signed types. Signedness is safe because we sign our code, right? Um, we can also swap the signedness. And for char, well, uh, yeah, of course, Safeness differs here. Um, so, yeah. Here is another type of thing that we might investigate soon because actually, since this is a lightning talk challenge, I want to know if I should carry on or not by, yeah, giving me applause or not. Okay. Thank you. I'm short on time. Sorry. So, here we have another type dev that is signed. You know this whole East type dev, West type dev debate? Okay, um, so here we have um, East type dev that is also signed, so we have a secure type dev. Well, we can also put it in the middle. Cool. Ah, okay. Um, anyways, we can also have fun with operators. So um, just make an X and um, do, do, um, Visual, visual programming or something. I, if I correctly remember, the result should be 99. Anyways, um, fun with classes. So here we have a class with a pure virtual destructor. Okay, this will be fun. Um, now let's make a derived object and allocate it somewhere. 
Now, this unfortunately doesn't compile because we actually need an inline definition of the pure virtual destructor. Otherwise, we cannot destruct the object, of course. So, no purist mode for us. Okay. Here, we have a class with a static method. Now, this is probably not so surprising to you, but to me, it was somewhat interesting. If we have a null pointer to that class, we, of course, can call the static method, but it's still somewhat weird. Okay, now what's also weird is this kind of syntax to return an array, in a static array actually, but it's weird. Okay, and then there is this. I know this is technically not really C++, but it compiles, and we do know why. Okay, thank you, that's it. 